So good morning, welcome along to Eclipse Motorcycles. Today we're going to be looking at this. This is the Lexmoto Echo 50. Gorgeous little one this is and it's in the grey and blue. It's got the new colour styling on this one. So just have a quick walk around the bike. And as you see, nice big daytime running light to the front. It's got those nice big tyres on it as well. And it is an absolute gem of a 50. Nice engine cover to the side, easily accessible to all the parts on it and you've got that nice LED tail light and stop light to the rear. So just a quick walk around the bike and then we're just going to sit on this, we're going to take it out and we're going to put about uh, 30 kilometres on this or so. So very very easy to see the dash on this, nice big speedo, 30 mile an hour on this is 1 o'clock, obviously these are restricted to 28 mile an hour but you can get about 30, 32 out of them. Nice easy view of that fuel tank, indicators just here, main beam to the top and you've got your engine management light here. Very very easy controls as well, front brake and of course rear brake, nice big mirrors on this, main beam, low beam, indicators and the horn. So very very simplistic controls on this, you've got two nice stowage bins to the front and a little bit of storage under the seat, so obviously you can put a litre bottle of drink, you can put your gloves in there, your odd bits and pieces, your wallet, your phone etc. Um, and they do have runoffs in those as well. So if you do get water in then there is a drain plug either side of those just to get rid of the water. Mirrors have got a very, very good view. Nice long oval mirrors on these. So you've got about a quarter of the mirror taken up by my shoulders. And then obviously a nice view of the road behind. So we're going to take this one and run it out for the customer. Now obviously for the purposes of ride testing, we normally say 40 mile an hour, but obviously with this one I'm going to stick to around 25. Just run the bike in. On the little 50s, they are very, very uh, good for what they are. Uh, obviously the Lexmoto Echo has been the biggest seller for the last, I believe, seven years with Lexmoto. So up to 25 mile an hour, puttering along, doing what it needs to do, and we're just going to run this bike in. And obviously brand new engine, I'm going to be taking my time, I'm about three quarters of the way on the throttle on this one and uh, obviously following a lot of comments that I had about up and down the dual carriageway, I know every inch of that dual carriageway, yes I do do a lot of dual carriageway mileage, simple reason is I can get the miles racked up quicker than if I was round round about sitting at 30, so obviously for the purposes of ride testing I do a lot of the dual carriageway footage. Um, but on a little 50 like this, we're just going to do a different circuit. So I'm going to switch to ride circuit number two, which just takes me obviously down a different route. And we're just going to come in, and we're going to come in on the front brake first. And it just pulls up quite nicely on that. Obviously coming around the roundabout. And then we'll flip over and we'll go round the roundabout, down the other dual carriageway. And we'll get a little bit of urban in around town, because obviously 30 mile an hour, 30 mile an hour roads, I can, I can switch my circuit up. So pulling away. And obviously it's a 50, it's not going to be the fastest thing in the world, but it does get up to speed very, very quickly. So it looks my rubber, as I said, gripping very, very well. And we're just going to come in on that dual brake, and that still pulls up very, very quickly. So just pulling away. And we're going to be switching down and going down the other road. So obviously on a 50, I'm going to move over to position one, my normal ride position. And then moving down the dual carriageway, and obviously it's a single track and I'm stuck at 30 mile an hour, so I'm going to have a few cars behind me on this one. But making sure that I'm dominating this lane a little bit, so I'm sort of halfway between one and two. Just holding the road, they're going to have to wait for me. But this little Echo 50 just plodded along very, very nicely, doing what it needs to do. Currently sitting at 26 mile an hour. Just a quick shoulder check, I'm just going to ease over, bring myself into the near side a little bit, and there is enough room on this to let the cars get past me. So absolutely gorgeous little bike, 
it does what it says on the tin you know if you're looking to sort of you want to get backwards and forwards to work um, you only live about five five or six miles and you don't want a, a big one two five you just want something to potter around it especially if you've got the uh, the granddad rights on your uh, car license so anything before 2001 if you've got a motor, um, a car right a car license and you're before I think it was February 2001 you can ride this on L plates or ride this without L plates should I say without taking a CBT you don't need it you've got your granddad rights for 50cc obviously anything after 2001 uh, you can ride on L plates and you're going to need I think need to do a CBT but obviously I need to check on that but anything we know before 2001 we get a lot of car drivers coming and saying oh you know I just want something to put backwards and forwards to work do I need a CBT no get a 50 just obviously depends when you took your license but do check with the DVLA on uh, on this I'm a little bit rusty on that but so it's up to you to make sure that you check but uh, these are absolutely beautiful I love these little bikes and I keep saying you know this thing just goes and goes and goes and goes takes forever to get there because obviously you're limited to 30 mile an hour now I'm climbing a hill and I'm still at 27 mile an hour so and I'm about three quarters throttle obviously I'm not throttling it all the way up and uh, we're just going to do a few different routes because obviously 30 mile an hour I can stick to the urban roads this time and you get to see a different view of Milton Keynes So hello, welcome back. Uh, we're now back into the urban route. Must be the 30 mile an hour running around the town. I'm just coming in on that back brake. These brakes are still exceptionally good. So tyres are nicely bedded in, brakes are bedded in, bike is still riding absolutely perfectly. And um, why wouldn't it be? You know, that's what you get from a Lexmoto Echo, just the 50cc reliability. And obviously, uh, I'm going to go into my top five. And uh, looks and styling, 10 out of 10. This has been the top bike for the last seven years running. Why wouldn't it not be the best selling bike again for 2020? So, 50cc Echoes, absolutely beautiful. What is this learner doing? We are waiting for you. So 10 out of 10 for styling. Economy, if I could give this thing 20, I would. The fuel economy on this is absurd. It is absolutely absurd. You can fill that tank and forget about it for about a month, even if you're doing sort of 10, 20 miles a day. This thing does, I, without looking at the figures, but obviously I'd expect this to do well over the hundreds of the gallon. And... Uh, that fuel gauge has not moved. I've put uh, 25k on this bike and the fuel gauge has not moved one iota. You know, bouncing it around and we're still at three quarters of a tank. So absolutely absurd amount of miles to the gallon. So fuel economy, the full 10 on that. Comfort, it's not bad. At the end of the day, it's a 50cc. The seat's lovely and padded. But obviously I'm only doing 30 mile an hour. If you're used to something a lot faster, you know, don't expect high speeds out of this. It's a 50cc ped. It's not going to do any more than 30. Probably get 32, 33 out of it at a push, but it's, it's a, you know, it's a beginner bike. It's a commuter. It's designed to get you from A to B. It does what it says on the tin, but don't expect huge amounts of speed from it. Um, now obviously myself, I'm used to hammering around at a, a huge rates of knots so getting on something like this it's like are we there yet but uh, obviously a new beginner on a bike 30 mile an hour is a bit undaunting when you're first on a, you know your first bike 30 mile an hour does seem very very fast so it's something that you're going to get used to if you're a car driver and you want a 50 cc it's going to do the job but don't expect it to get there in sort of five ten minutes it's going to take its time but for what it is and the insurance, the low tax on it, the fuel economy, the looks and styling, you know, you're not going to get far wrong than an Moto Echo. Reliability, well, as I've said, it's been the number one bike for the last seven years. Full 10 out of 10 for reliability. Overall, what would you give it? I love these little Echoes. 
I think they're a gorgeous little bike and seven years of being the top 50cc selling bike against all the other sort of big brands and Chinese imports this one has been number one for seven years just go and check the stats just put in Google top selling 50cc bike and all the Lexmoto figures are there you know I've done a blog on it and uh, I've done a huge great uh, write up on the, uh, the best selling bikes from Lexmoto and 50cc Echo can't beat it so my opinion I'm going to give this 50 out of 50 this has got to be one of the best selling 50ccs if you're into uh, your first bike or you're a car driver or a bike driver you don't want to take the big bike out of the weekends or you know you just want something A to B backwards and forwards to work you want to get there or even sort of granny or granddad that wants to go down to the local shops get their bag of shopping this can have a top box on the back so you can put your shopping in there if you want to just go out and get the daily essentials or you, you're in London you know you want to do the urban commute through London and this thing is so narrow I could throw this between cars and filter with no problem in the world thank you very much for your rubbish in the road so you can't go far wrong with one of these absolutely brilliant and so for 50 out of 50 we've only got a few of these left obviously we have sold a lot of bikes over the last three weeks we have sold so many I am losing track now we've got LXRs going out and I've got a couple of Venoms going out and um, what else we've we got we've got Michigan going out I've got uh, quite a lot of bikes obviously I've got a Sim SR going out this one's due to go out uh, in a couple of days just for the purpose of ride testing we obviously got this one out and uh, we always do a good couple of ride tests before it goes to the customer just to make sure this bike is spot on and 100% but uh, as I said we very very limited on stock we've just had a new delivery of bikes coming in but obviously the main factory is struggling to get bikes from China um, that's just all across the UK you know everybody is struggling to get stuff because of what's happening with lockdown and with the corona so we are running on a limited stock obviously limited staff as well but we have got plenty of bikes in stock I think about 40 at the moment so if you're into a, a Lexmoto or you just want to see one of our used selections um, we do uh, the big used bikes so it's not just Lexmoto we do we also do a lot of the big bikes um, in a used market got a nice couple of uh, thousand cc bikes in if you're into a big boy bike and you fancy stepping up We've got the Triumph Daytona in, we have the Aprilia RSV, and I've even got a nice E-Reg, really old, 1980s CBR 1000. And that is a gorgeous piece of touring equipment, so if you're into a, a nice big touring bike, we've got one of those as well. Quick couple of shoulder checks, back into the traffic. So Urban Route is handling very, very well. So if you're into a a bike obviously yeah you know what to do if you like the video uh, hit the like and subscribe button and obviously leave your comments I don't mind the negative feedback it you know it, uh, it gives me something to comment back on not everybody is gonna like a Chinese import bike you know some are oh I don't like Chinese bikes they do this they do that um, I had a couple of comments on them uh, a couple of days ago on a couple of the other blogs and someone said you know oh we bought a Michigan got halfway down the road and uh, it broke down, took it back to the dealers, he swapped the reg over, retransferred re it to another bike, and went, here you go, take another Michigan, absolutely spot on, so well done to that dealer. Um, get a good dealer, and the dealer will look after you, like we do. Any questions, any you know, any problems, bring it straight back. Well, that's what uh, a good Lexmoto dealer is there for. Obviously the bad ones, they're going to be, well, you've you paid your money, you get what you get, you know, so it's, it's up to individual choice, but shop around, Google, I always say Google is the best thing for finding out about someone and uh, obviously we get five out of five all the way with ours and uh, you can follow the guys Eclipse Motorcycles they've got the website Eclipse Motorcycles MK obviously it's a new website so we've not listed absolutely everything and uh, obviously be due in, uh, obviously due to being very busy we haven't had a chance to update a lot of the websites at the moment but the Facebook page obviously I do that and the social media is up there so you can find Eclipse Motorcycles pictures of the two scooters on there follow that page don't look for the other one that's an old page so the one you're looking for is Eclipse Motorcycles on Facebook 
and of course all the links easiest way to do it as I tell everybody to do on my ride videos go to my website revbomb.co.uk go to social media links all the social media is in there for absolutely everything so the Twitter Instagram Facebook YouTube and all my merch shop is there as well so if you're if you fancy a little bit of the Rev Bomb merch that's all in there as well and obviously all my sponsors are in there on the main page so you can follow all my sponsors there's links to all my sponsors and, and the people that just send me crazy stuff and uh, yeah had a couple of uh, good ones the other week so thank you to Monster I didn't think Monster would get behind it you know and uh, they said obviously we can't sponsor you but if you fancy some free merch because obviously you've got your monster levers the Kawasaki's green um, have some free tins of monster thank you very much for those I, I did appreciate them they didn't last very long but uh, if you'd like to send me another pack it would be much appreciated <laughs> um, and obviously all the guys um, muck off products they sent me a, a free and then you've got all my uh, other people on there that uh, just send me odds and sods so if you do want to send me something to review obviously uh, links and my phone number in there give us a, give us a bell or drop me an email and I'll be quite happy to do a review and hopefully we can get into two cameras soon so I'm waiting for my Insta360 to turn up and once I get that that was going to be uh, quite enjoyable a couple of cameras on the bike so you get to see the ride from a different angle get to hear the exhaust note obviously these things take time they take money we do these vlogs for the uh, love of it not for the fact that we're getting paid I receive absolutely no fees from anyone for doing this for Lex Motos I do it because I like in, uh, riding these bikes and it's a bit different to ride a 125 and a 50 than it is to be hammering around on my big 750 all the time but uh, hopefully we'll get that one out of the weekend go out for a ride we're going to take a couple of Lex Moto riders out with us so uh, they have said you know obviously weather permitting if the weather's good, can we come out and have a ride with you? And I said, yes, of course you can. But uh, RB's bike does not come out on a very wet day. Due to the simple fact is there's a shed load of horsepower there. And that thing does like to skitter its back end around in the wet weather, even though I've got uh, some decent uh, Michelin 2 CTs on that. So just making our way back to the garage, as I said, hit the like, subscribe on the uh, YouTube smash the hell out the notifications bell social media on the website we'll catch up with you on the next ride which is probably going to be the michigan and the pink titan so until then i'll be wishing you stay safe be well go carefully if you are riding guys have a good one and we'll catch up with you on the next one until then bye bye for now